all they motherfucking hate all day. Wah! Yo, I see all these motherfucking haters trying to fucking hate on me. Everybody always wanna try to take me down. They don't ever want me to succeed. Everybody always ripping on me. talk about uh cyrax today which you may or may not be familiar with over here in mass hole land he he kind of gets by that people just see his looks and essentially oh. assume he's retarded based on his looks but in the reality of it is he's he's far from retarded he, he's just he's probably dumb but not retarded because he has some skill and manipulation as we've seen the last couple of days so i messaged him as a 14, almost 15 year old girl with, named Crystal with a K. Um, and the uh, original reason for reaching out uh, per this troll, for lack of a better term, um, was because she was feeling bullied and suicidal, which is like what he talks about all the time. That is his purported mission statement on the internet is to help people in this situation, um, which is actually pretty predatory when we get into how this shook out. So. He immediately, as soon as he got the text, tried to call, which was creepy. Um, and he starts this conversation. It starts out pretty normal, and I'm saying, you know, lots of people are bullying me. I really feel down. They call me ugly and stupid and lots of mean names. And, um, you know, he goes on to say, is it cool if I call you? So I say, my mom is almost done making dinner. Can you call me after dinner? So right off the bat, we're throwing up hints that this is probably a child, okay? And he is, he just doesn't care. Uh, are you gonna help me, Cyrax? So he starts with the common grooming tactics of telling me that I'm awesome and I'm epic, despite the fact that he literally does not know this um, fictitious 14 year old girl from a hole in the wall. So I sent him a picture and <clears throat> do not donate to me for this. You will not be helping anything. They're like, I'm not just wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Seriously, we're not trying to make money off of this. This was just a troll that turned pretty disturbing. And I felt like we needed to share it because this dude is all over YouTube and he is on games like Pokemon Go, which is a geolocation based children's game. He hangs out on, uh, you know, chat rooms and platforms where there's a lot of cartoons and things of that nature and emo scene and things where there are teenagers and children. So this picture right here is 13 years old. This is no longer a child. Um, this will become Cyrax's defense in a little bit as we move down the line, even though that's clearly a child when the picture was taken. Um, I just wanted to be clear that I'm not taking actual children's pictures that are children now, because that would be creepy as fuck. Okay, so we go on to say, like, I've never had a boyfriend. We're establishing that, you know, she's kind of insecure, never been kissed sort of scenario. Um, I think I actually played this a lot more innocent than a lot of 14 year olds are these days. I have one, that's how I know. Um, and that's kind of disturbing that, you know, even with a child that presents this innocent, somebody will take advantage of that. Um, so, right around the time that I'm supposed to call him, he, he's texting again going, hey, how are you? Okay, I was just about to call you. Okay, I'm ready where you are. And then we have a conversation on the phone. Now, I had a friend of mine um, call him up on three-way so that I could listen and record, and she could talk because obviously he kind of knows my voice at this point as well as I sound pretty old. So, the conversation, um, he did ask her, when she graduates high school, she responded in three years, I'm a freshman. And that's pretty important because on the phone already, we've established now that she is a freshman in high school, which would make her 14 or 15 years old. So he is aware of that by the time we hang up. Um, his phone dies and then he starts texting again. So I ask him, do you not want another picture of me or no? And he says, sure. And just know you definitely have someone here who understands what you're going through. And another picture, of a very young girl and he goes no you're not you're cute hugs right like so we've established twice now right very very young girl in the pictures very young girl she's doing homework her mom's making dinner um she's a freshman in high school like boyfriend girlfriend love i mean i get lonely and so many people are so fake you know and he goes well you're talking to that person silly the fuck Ugh. yeah Disgusting. yeah right 
So, oh god. <laughs> I yeah, saw the yeah, video yeah. and I'm like <laughs> Yeah. So I mean at this point he knows he's talking to a um, freshman in high school, all that, so you know, he says smiles and kisses you, which is also wicked fucking creepy. I ask him, How old are you by the way? Just wondering. I know you asked me, but I didn't even ask back. And he goes, I just turned thirty in September, but I look fourteen. He does not, okay? He's he's bald. Like, oh, right. I've never seen a bald 14-year-old in my life. Does not fucking look 14. Well, but he knows this girl is 14. You know what, though? Chance, when he was a kid, was bald also. Really? That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think there's a picture from when he was, like, 15, 16, and he was bald, I think. Here we go. This is where it gets weird. So right there, what we're seeing is a jerk-off video, which I'm not going to show, obviously. And so he sends the video, and he immediately says, Promise me you won't show anyone. So despite what he says about, you know, being entrapped and all the other all the stuff we're about to hear that he makes up excuses for, this indicates to me that he knows right from wrong. Because he is sending jerk-off videos and then telling me, promise me you won't show anyone. I'm not a fucking pedophile. Look up the technical term, bitch. I would be considered a hemophile, which, by all technical terms, is not a fucking lie. Does your brain work? You read the same thing I've read and showed the audience. You read that, so you are a hemophile. Uh, good luck with that, bozo. This would entail the last time I was told, hey, I got a surprise for you. Uh, sorry, I flipped his penis out. <laughs> so let me get this straight. Wow. So. You thought you were talking to a 14-year-old girl, correct? Yes, but at the same okay, time... Okay, hold on. Let me that. finish. Let me finish. Stick to that. He has sent pictures but to here's two the other people. That's Trav, it. I'm trying to get you, you to... You've already... Yo, I, listen, I appreciate I that you admitted that you sent your dick to, Jen, to two other kids before me. Jen. So I appreciate that you did admit that. That's some accountability. Now we know, um, out of your own mouth... Time. That there have been at least three to four children that you've sent your dick to so, in the last So what? Uh, so what? Uh, so what? Uh, are you trying to set me up to go to jail? Is that okay? Do you, you think it's ethical to send your penis to children? Do No, and I apologize for that, all right? I made up for that. I wrote that wrong. What you're saying is, when I posed as a 14-year-old girl, that was the last time that you sent your dick to a child, but there were two times before that. Yeah. And there you have it. He's admitted to it, folks. It's his own words. All this is his own words. You are that monster that every parent and grandparents dread. See, Masshole Report caught on to you because of all the kitty sites you would go to. And she got a little curious to know if you would take the bait, and you took the bait. She was absolutely right. You took the bait. Period. As far as I'm concerned, you shouldn't be on any social media platform, period. But to you, words are to be manipulated. Just like just yesterday, you go, I'm going to shut down the channel. I'm not going to go off the internet, but I'm going to quit streaming and all this. An hour later, you got three more videos up. So your words mean nothing. And you prove it day in and day out. Your words mean nothing. They're crap. Just like you are, you're a crappy human being, period. No, I'm not deleting the channel. I'm not deleting it. I know what you guys are thinking. You're going to delete the channel. No, I'm not. I'm not getting rid of it. It's just going to basically sit there, in a sense. And there you go. Words out of your own mouth. Just lies. Because you didn't just let it sit there. You put three more videos up after that one. So your words mean nothing to anybody. And I am leaving this channel behind for a while. Your own words mean nothing because right after that you had video after video up. Does your brain work, son? Do you realize words have meaning? I don't think so. I'm telling you the fucking truth. The truth that that bitch refuses to leak out um like you know and when he was talking about having sex and raping my my 14 year old daughter, i mean like there's there's no words to explain the fucking blind rage that i feel and he does so 
without even a, an iota, not even a shred of any sort of uh, shame or, or decency. He has no problem saying and doing these things whatsoever. <laughs> You talking about raping a 14 year old? You saw that little scene of the guy being drug across concrete. That was another person who thought he was immune from the internet. I'm not going to give his name. Some people will know who he is. Uh, he was talking and making fun of another man's wife. So after he had enough of it, he hopped in his car and paid the guy a visit and did a little pounding on him. Of course, uh, he, the guy was at a halfway house, so his buddies came and pounded on him too. <laughs> but I got a feeling the way you talk to women, and that's something a lot of you people are short-sighted on. They have brothers, sisters, husbands, cousins, uncles, boyfriends, and husbands that might decide to take action on you. Why don't you do us all a favor and keep to your promise and stay off of YouTube? Just keep to your promise. Listen, you all have a good day. <laughs>
some of it so you can get the uh, gist of what's going on. And I'll interject from time to time. No, no, no don't leave. Don't leave. No. Okay. I'm, no, I'm tired of this shit, Tony. You don't uh, I know, me. but I'm okay. saying don't leave. I need to talk to you. About You're not the... Okay, you mentioned my name on the on one of your videos. Am I correct? Yeah, because you're a fucking pedophile, bitch. So see Listen, you later, bitch. Sorry, no, Listen, I'm not you son of a bitch. See you later, Listen, fucker. I'm not the pedophile. You're oh, the pedophile. Shit, nigga. Because you, you sent a dick pic to an underage <laughs> girl, Cyrax. I never did such a thing like that. And another thing, Cyrax, no. I'm not the fucking pedophile. I've said it on my several videos that I'm not stating that I'm not a pedophile. Because you guys are so focused on my past that you're not focusing on the me. The me today that I am now. Because, yes, we make mistakes in the past. Do we not? Do we make do we learn from our mistakes? Yes, we do learn from our mistakes. That's why I've said I am not the person that I used to be. Now, Cyrax, you're the pedophile. You know why you're the fucking pedophile? One, you sent a dick pic to an underage girl. And plus, you sent a video of you jerking off to an underage girl. Therefore, you're the pedophile, not me, Cyrax. I'm not the pedophile. You are, Cyrax. Plain and simple. I'm surprised you're not in jail because what if her father saw that picture? What if her father saw the video? You would be in so much you would be in so much trouble, Cyrax. It's not even Tony, funny. Tony, uh, to be fair, Stop. though. What? Well, okay, here you can go on, Tony. I'm going to get something really quickly here. Just give me one moment. Oh, look who it is. Let me ask you this. Tell me the fucking pedo. Let me ask you this. If you're so innocent, why ain't people, why, if you say that you did wrong, what you did wrong, they're going to just forget it. Listen, I'm going to shut the fuck up, asshole. No, no, I'm not going to shut up. You are going to listen to me for one time, bitch. Shut up. No, you shut the fuck up. No, I'm not going to talk. Shut up and stop interrupting me, Cyrax. Stop interrupting me. And listen to what I have to say. Shut the fuck up. Listen to what I have to say, Cyrax. Listen. Hey, Tony, here's the thing, bro. Did you or did you not send a big pic to an underage girl? Yes or no? Cut your four-eyed ass Yes or no? I'm talking to you, Cyrax. Shut up. The past is the past. I'm not the same person that I used to be, Cyrax. That makes me not a pedophile. I made you my fucking You don't have to the now. You guys are so focused on my past that you can't realize the real person I am today. Shut the fuck up. No, I'm not going to shut up, Cyrax. Rather you like it or not. And if you don't like what I have to say, then get the fuck out of here. No, I'm not going to let you No, I'm not going to let you do No, I'm not going to let you do it, Cyrax. They need to no. shut your goddamn mouth and open your goddamn ear listen. holes. The only reason why they're finding a fucking pedophile is because Mary Jane Monarch hey, Tony, watch threw me under the, the fucking bus because I know I'm not in the little girl. I am not in the little girl. What I'm into are girls that are under over at the age of 21. Plain and simple. Plain and simple, Marty. And another thing, with that stupid picture at the mall, I never asked for a name. Because you know why? I was born and my grandma and my grandpa told me, told me it is disrespectful to ask a woman her age. That's why I never asked her age. I told.
Cyrex has a hard time not saying the N-word, and I tried to cover it up the best I could. Uh, that's about it. It just goes on and on. You can watch the whole thing on M Music Biz Marty's channel. It's insane, folks. I, sometimes I feel like I'm on a planet that is flipped upside down. Uh, this would have never happened back in the day. No. They would both be in jail. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they're not. Uh, I know that YouTube has been trying to track uh, Cyrex down. I think they eliminated two or three of his channels. I think he's still got one up, but he's been off for a couple of days. I don't think that's going to last much longer. But uh, yeah, I hope you see what I see. It's it's just so bizarre. And Cyrex putting his mouth up against the camera kind of tells it all that he's too lazy to brush his teeth because all those problems in his mouth that you can see right now besides the crooked teeth could have been corrected with just brushing and flossing. Even crooked teeth you can brush and floss Cyrex. You're just too lazy. That's all there is to it. Uh, you're going to have a lot of trouble in the future. <laughs> Listen, you all have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Show up, cause what I'm about to do to him would make the devil sick. I sharpen my blade, front to this curve like I'm only in the seventh grade. The doorbell rings, I gotta get him inside. In my best little girl's voice, I'm like, Hi, come on in, I'm putting on my bikini. <laughs> and when the door shuts, that's when I let him see me. Hi there. <laughs> I stab him in the neck.